bad bitch here. Come on. All my niggas bang out to this. Hello, my name is John Davis, aka Cali the Spartan. Uh, I was born in Gary, Indiana, by way of San Jose, and represent the American Kickboxing Academy. So I'm Vincent Bordy from Manteca, California, fighting out at Cortez Martial Arts, Fleet Base Boxing Gym. He's a tough guy. You know the record speaks for itself. He's 8-1, so I know he's not a slouch or a punk, per se. Uh, we actually, it's funny, spoke, we fought on the first two born to fight cards together. On the posters, we're actually standing next to each other. We've uh, always kind of had like a... I guess like a quiet respect for each other, kind of new of each other in the game. So uh, I'm looking forward to a fight. Okay, what do you know about your opponent, um, John Davis? Uh, I just know he's a big athletic guy. He trains out of AKA, 2-0 uh, record. Um, you know, he's going to be kind of wait for this fight. You know, he's a you know, bigger guy, um, very explosive, um, you know. Don't, know. don't know too much about him. He hasn't fought in two years, so... You know, it's it's and you know he hasn't been doing anything that I could you know I've been able to see off off the internet. So you know it's hard. It's I'm kind of going in the dark a little bit, but you know still training hard just like any other fight. Uh, my first fight was against Felix Gould, representing uh, the North California Fight Factory. Uh, it was uh, supposed to be a 205 fight, and it ended up being a catch fight. Uh, you know, pretty tough guy. You know, he took me through all three rounds. Um, I got a chance to exhibit all my skills as a mixed martial artist and came out, you know, unanimously as the victor. Uh, my second fight was actually a friend connected to Felix, which uh, I think his name is Carlos Vasquez. I think, Vasquez. I hope I'm not tearing it up. But uh, he told his coach that he could see me watching me, fee uh, watching me fight Felix. So... Uh, a couple months later, we got in the cage, and I showed him what's up, too. Okay, can you talk about your record and, um, you know, maybe a couple of your fights? Yeah, my record is 8-1. and one. Uh, I've been fighting over the last, like, three years. Uh, you know, I have everything from knockouts, TKOs, to split decisions, decisions. Um, you know, I have a whole, whole wide variety of, you know, different outcomes for my fights, different, uh, you know, and another thing uh, I think is interesting about my record is, you know, you see these guys with, you know, big, you know, high number of fights, but, you know, I have quality fights, you know, guys I fight are, you know, top ranked guys, you know, uh, you know, I fought, I went up a weight class fight, the state champ at 235s, I fought, you know, Brandon Hester twice, you know, I, you know, they're not, not fighting tomato cans, you know, it's a eight and one, it's a solid eight and one record. Training at American Kickboxing Academy is like being fed to a lion's den or being thrown in a shark tank with steaks, you know, sewed to your skin. I'm more nervous about going to training on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday than I am about hopping in a cage with somebody not from American Kickboxing Academy. It's crazy. The world's toughest guys, the world's most talented guys reside right here in San Jose, right up under your nose. And I'm one of them. And I've been getting molded and uh, trained to be who I am by these guys. So I'm grateful to be where I am right now. Okay, do you feel that there's any pressure um, going up against John Davis, knowing that he trains out of AKA and trains with some of the top-notch guys? Yeah, there's a little pressure. You know, he's not training with chumps at all. You know, he's training with, like, world-class guys, you know, the top guys in the world. You know, that's saying something. Um, you know, but when it comes down to it, the only people in the cage is going to be me and John Davis. So, you know, he could train with top guys in the world, but it's just going to be me and him in the cage. Fighting on the Gallus card is a tremendous blessing for me because it's a lot of professional uh, people that are involved with this promotion, along with uh, my coach, Javier Mendez, who's the head coach at AKA. Uh, he has a, a lot of clout in the Bay Area and in North California to showcase serious amateur fighters who are on their way somewhere. So it's been a tremendous blessing for me to be involved with the Gallus Fighting Championship and look forward to performing for them. To the fans, just, you know, strap on your seatbelt and get ready, man, because this is mixed martial arts coming at your face. You know, we both have been training hard to be here. I know I have. So you can expect to see, you know, real aggression and, you know, mixed martial arts at its top level. 
you know, right here. Even though it's amateur, you know, I'm not playing games. I'm here to fight as a pro. So, you know, be ready. Okay, your thoughts on um, Gallus fights and what can the fans expect from you that night? Um, just from what I've heard through the marketing, you know, they're doing a great job promoting the fight. They're, they're uh, you know, got a lot of high quality fighters, you know, good venue. Um, you know, this is their second show. Um, you know, Javier, Javier Mendez, you know, great promoters, you know, been in the game for a while, he knows what he's doing. Um, you know, I, for the show, I, I definitely think the people are going to get their money's worth. You know, they're going to have a, you know, good entertaining fights. Take promotions where it's never gone. Murder rappers in their home. Instagram they bodies from the living room. Yeah. The most belligerent is genius, but ignorant is killing men, leaving more grieving widows than a dead woman. July 20th, this is a show you're not gonna wanna miss.